name is Sharon Drew and I'm from Smart Consultancy and Coaching Limited. Today I'd like to share with you some smart ideas about different resources that you can use to encourage children if they're struggling with uh, motivation towards uh, writing and pencil tasks. Now a lot of this um, stuff that you can actually buy commercially, so it's not very expensive, perhaps a few pounds, you can get them not necessarily from specific toy shops, but you might get them in the supermarket, um, market stalls, uh, you just need to really sort of uh, have a look around and, and explore some of the different things that I might be presenting to you. Now, some of the ways to get children instantly interested, I think, are different gizmos and gadgets. And some of the things that my children particularly quite like are vibrating pens. They come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes, depending on whether it's a girl or a boy. They're battery operated, and as you can see, this one whizzes around. This feels quite nice sort of in the hand. You hardly have to use any movement at all, and it just generates a nice little squiggle all over the page. You don't have to press very hard, so if you've got some children who perhaps find it difficult to, uh, to grade the pressure that they're using, uh, then that's quite nice for that. So it doesn't matter what they do, it leaves a really interesting mark on the paper. I like to use lots of different kind of stampers and rollers that you can get. These are um, pre-inked ones, so again it doesn't matter what kind of movement that you're using, it generates a mark on the paper so we can practice making up and down strokes particularly uh, in preparation for maybe writing. These little stampers are quite nice just drop them into some ink uh, or um, some uh, paint and dab them on the paper again to make various different marks. I also like to use different types of uh, mark making resources such as liquid chalk so instead of using your regular stick chalk consider using the um, liquid chalk. This is quite nice because it wipes off quite easily. So you, again, you could use it on a blackboard or you could even use it outside. If you make marks outside on the patio, just get a big paint brush, dip it in some water, again, paint over the marks that have been made and you can magically wipe them off. But again, it's reinforcing the shapes and the marks for writing. If you don't have a patio outside or a blackboard, but maybe you've got some big windows that you could use, you might want to try and use uh, these window markers. These are by Crayola, and again, they're, they're washable, so uh, you know we're not going to leave any uh, big stains all over the windows. But again, working on a vertical surface is also really helpful for children's uh, motor control, uh, but also reinforces different concepts of up and down because the movement feels very different when you're working on a vertical surface compared to when you're working on a horizontal surface. Now my boys particularly like things like this. These are invisible writers. There are various different sorts that are around and, and um, variety of prices but generally again just at sort of a few pound and what you do is you've got your special invisible writer crayons or markers and then you've got little UV torches that you can then use to shine over the invisible writing and see what you've actually put down on the paper so I play lots of secret agents with the with the boys and they really like that one something that you could do in the dark is use neon crayons for example again really um, good fun so these are glow-in-the-dark crayons so you could put up some secret messages do some different shapes and some patterns and then obviously in the dark then the uh, patterns and shapes will emerge bath time is also a good time for practicing um, mark making and writing and especially for the younger children there are a variety of these kind of uh, bath time crayons that are around uh, these ones I picked up just again for a few pounds uh, or some bigger uh, soap crayons such as this now this one I picked up in a chemist's shop for example on my local high street now for younger children who perhaps find it um, difficult to grasp um, small tools for writing, you can get these. These are egg chalks, which again are, are really nice to encourage this, this grasp that the children need for their tripod grasp later on. Again, we can make some really nice marks with those. 
Other similar markers to encourage that type of grip are these crayons. The girls particularly like these ones because they're little animal shapes. And these ones are quite nice. These are um, finger crayons. So you put your finger inside the crayon, which encourages the other fingers to come around the top of the crayon. So again, we're promoting this tripod grasp for writing. One of my last little tools that the children quite like, which is especially nice for children who find it quite hard to grade the pressure that they're using to make the marks on paper, are light up pens. Again, you can pick these up. I picked this one up in a local station as in my town centre. And as you hope you can see on the camera there, is that as soon as you put the right amount of pressure, you can see the light shining. So if they're using not enough pressure, the light doesn't come on. Again, the right pressure, the light comes on. And it's an incredible motivator, actually, uh, for the children when they're practising their mark making and their writing. Well, I hope that's given you some ideas about some things that perhaps you could buy as stocking fillers or little birthday gifts or just little treats when you're out and about. If you'd like some more ideas about um, helping children with writing, visit the website www.smartcc.co.uk for lots more information.